हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सुमन कौर टुडे आई हैव कम अप विद न्यू पोयम द लेक आइजल ऑफ इन फ्री बिफोर गोइंग टू द समरी लेट सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द पोयम द पोयम द लेक आइजल ऑफ इन फ्री वॉज पब्लिश इन वॉल्यूम द रोज इन एटीन नाइंटी थ्री वेन ईट्स रोड दिस पोयम ही वॉज स्टेइंग इन लंडन ही डिड नॉट लाइक लंडन he craved for a life he had once lived in his childhood at his grand maternal parents at sligo it was a period of his life when he had begun to develop a love for solitude and a bass for reverie for mountain caves and dreaming sligo was a land full of beautiful natural sceneries london was much different from it as you can see the poem is consist of three stanzas now let us go with the, um, the summary of the poem stanza wise you can see the three stanzas here one stanza first stanza second stanza and the third one let's go to the paraphrase or the summary of the poem the poem is of three stanzas as i said and all three stanzas separately summary is written here let us see the poet hates the modern world of fret and fear of science and materialism or logic and crookedness he wants to escape to the heaven of peace and fulfillment the lake isle of innis free is such a place he wants to go there to live in peace and wisdom there he will make out out clay and reeds a small cottage he will grow a little garden there with nine beam bean rows planted there the epithet nine bean denotes mystery and sacredness the place where the poet will live will live will be sacred purified and the place where the poet will live will be sacred purified of all the impurities of the world the atmosphere of that place will be mystery mysterious because there the air will be filled with the idea of image and angels he will keep some bees who will supply him with honey the passionate yearning for a glade fills the void and completes the picture here we have completed the first stanza now from here the second stanza starts in such a heaven of his dreams the poet shall have peace there is no peace in this world torn by tension and trouble sound and fury conflicts and struggle disappointment and frustration slavery and suffering there in innis free he shall have peace and have rest for the innis free priest prevail and descend down from the mist of the morning the cricket and the linnet will keep him company and he will be living in perfect peace there the midnight will be all glimmer and noon will be perpetually growing and in and in the evening the sweet birds will sing melodiously this is what the second stanza of the poem now the third one that is so the poet cannot stay in the city any longer he will soon arise and will go in his free for all the time in dreamy manner he goes on hearing lake waters striking at the shore and producing murmuring sweet music made by the views of the lake where he is on the footpath of the busiest road or on the grey pavement of london streets he always hear the call of in his free so guys here we have completed the summary of the poem successfully even i have shown you the text of the poem also i hope the summary will help you out in the competitive examination or for your any courses on english literature if the topic is mentioned for your syllabus so that's all guys hope you enjoyed the poem don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for such videos thank you